Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In the previous tutorials, we have seen how to generate the code from a model, which could be possibly a C or C++ code or MX file. So in the previous to previous tutorial, we have seen how to create a plant model, how to create a controller model, how to create a test harness and to see all these things please look into the previous videos in this particular playlist and in this video we will see like what uh, what is the actual workflow that is being followed when we think of testing a software or implementing the same software inside a hardware so as you can see first what we need to do we need to make the model a code generatable model so different parameters that need to be fixed like we need to use the fixed type solver also we need to map the clock frequency in which uh, we are going to implement the particular generated code so for that we need to choose a proper sample time and we also need to choose a proper target hardware which we want to generate the code for so suppose you want to implement uh, the code generation and then you want to test it then uh, in that case you will have either two ways like you may not have the actual hardware to test the behavior of the function or you will have the hardware to test the behavior of the function so in this case there are two ways you can do test your code either you can follow a dot max file approach or you can follow a dot c or c plus plus approach so what is the difference between these two so when you want to implement a dot max approach you need to create a s function uh, which includes the c and c plus plus code inside it and you can run the same c code inside a dot max file or a s function in the matlab environment for this you need to have a compiler which is usually a mingw compiler and with the help of that you can run the c code that is generated from the model and validate the behavior of the software that is called self-testing kind of and this can be done in the normal pc itself and before going to any code generation exactly for generating c or c plus plus code you can implement this method as well first we can generate this max file and always try to give the same inputs that we have given into the model and verify it is working properly based on the requirement or not the other workflow that is there is the c plus plus and c code generation so once the code is being generated it can be directly implemented in any hardware so yeah suppose we have confidence like from this uh, we are able to see like the behavior is proper then we can go this workflow and generate the c code from the matlab model directly and uh, where this code will go so this code will go either to a um, hardware which uh, will be operating maybe a flight controller so your software will run on this hardware and will control the flight maneuvers of the aircraft could be a possible implementation or it could be applied to any automobile uh, feature uh, where we will have a ecu or something like that or it can be applied to a health equipment so in all these area it is very sensitive to have a accuracy in the code and the code should not malfunction so if it malfunctions then it will may have impact on lives of people or it will have impact to create a hazard which may be dangerous to the person who will be using the equipment so for that reason first everything should be verified properly and then the code is generated then it can be used in multiple hardware platforms so this is the two workflow that is there so what we seen in the last tutorial we have seen how to generate the code of c and c plus plus by clicking on the build button but we have not seen this max setup creation or still creation so 
in the further future coming videos we will see like how to generate a sill and how to test it later on by creating a test harness so this is for this video till now in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or any suggestion please let us know via the comment section so that we can improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel have a good day and happy learning matlab